We're here with head coach Damien Welch before our second game of the season. Bishop Snorfield away. Damien, the first away trip of your professional coaching career. How excited are you? That could be interesting. It should be a good one. Um, yeah, excited to obviously get the season up and running last week. And obviously it's nice to kind of carry on with in the first away trip of the season. Um, obviously the boys bounced back quite well in terms of training after last weekend. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing what they put on the pitch. Yeah, it was a very close game and then two scores in the last three minutes blew it out. Was, was it a difficult challenge on Tuesday picking the lads back up? Uh, in some ways, yeah. I mean, I, I was quite honest with them. I said my, my major bone of contention is that I know how teams will view a team who's come out of a 37-8 game the wrong end. And, you know, it's a bit disappointing for me because I don't feel like we were a 37-8 defeat team. Um, you know, anyone who watched the game knows it was a lot closer and unfortunately we just left ourselves too much to do in terms of um, dealing with discipline and, and constantly defending driving walls because we have our aerial discipline. So basically, I think we, we kind of let ourselves down um, and ended up being on the wrong end of a result by some distance, which probably didn't reflect the game. Um, so for me, my biggest kind of bone of contention this week has been that fact that I was trying to get across to the players that it's, it's bothering me that other teams will look at us like that. Um, so in terms of the, the, the boys themselves, they're all massively disappointed because I think obviously they put so much into that first half. Um, and having watched the tape, they know full well that it was kind of a large degree, it was our own errors that, uh, that caused the result to, to be slanted the way it did. Um, so I, I've got no doubt we'll see a bit of a, a kind of a backlash from them on, on Saturday. And looking to the opposition, Bishop Stortford, um, they drew with Tombridge Juggins first game up. Do we know much about that? Yeah, obviously we've watched the, the, the footage of that game. Um, good team, obviously got our, our, uh, our ex Dan Powell, obviously is, is playing for them, which is it's going to be nice to see a familiar face. Um, like a very you know good, good team to watch. Um, they like to throw the ball around and, and play a lot of wide rugby, so it should be an interesting game. It should be good. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting down there and, and kind of seeing what happens. And with regards to our team, relatively settled squad. There's a couple of changes I've seen. Yeah, fairly settled as usual. We try and keep as much consistency in it as we possibly can. Um, obviously, a couple of guys will, will, will shift around positions. Um, obviously, slightly injury related, um, and obviously we also brought Ramaz onto the bench. Um, for a bit of impact in that second half, it's, you know, it's, it's a tough, tough ask for a front row to do a full 80, obviously. So to have the ability to bring someone like Ramaz in off the, off the bench is, is key for us. And for, for those that know, Ramaz is our Georgian prop. Ramaz the Georgian prop, yeah. So he's a big physical lump, um, and it's one of those positions where um, his, his size will obviously, you know, hopefully benefit us in, in the kind of later, later stage of second half. Fantastic. A bit of a change yourself, Damien. A uh, very early start. We were travelling on the day off. Obviously, from your professional career, it was the night nice before. Yeah. Are you excited about the early start? Yeah, well, I've said before, this is kind of, it's a big part of, of National League Rugby. And, and for me, it contributes massively into kind of the the end results in terms of standings of where teams are. I think a lot of that is the ability to, to deal with the travel aspect of things. It is a true National League. Um, so obviously, this is our first experience of it this year. Fantastic. Thanks, David. No worries, mate.